Alright, so I saw a lot of people doing these videos on just creating these things, but none of them were ever fully free. So let's do that. I'm going to start with specialist. Rogue. I'm choosing customize because these paths are always terrible. I guess they're helpful for learning, but the numbers that they give you end up being less usually than what you can usually spend in your customize. Alright. So these are the only things that we have unlocked. Dwarf, Elf, Halfling, and Human. If you click more info you can get information on things like what they're good at and their strengths and weaknesses. So dwarfs are good with constitution and low charisma. For the build that I'm going with we're going to be doing that one. But for elves, they do higher decks, lower con. Also, they have extra bonuses here. But we're going to do dwarf. And we're going to go looks, and now we can distribute our points. For dwarfs, we're going to go high end. Lots of strength. and some decks so that we don't get a negative bonus there of course I couldn't couldn't do that anyways now we can spend our skill points that we get based on our int so I am going to be a rogue so I obviously want disable device Hide. Oh no, we can dump hide for now. Eh, we might need to sneak. <laughs> Jump. We can skip listen. If your spot is high enough, you probably don't need it. Open lock. Search. Spot. Tumble. Only one point in tumble though. Because that's all we need for that. I'm also going to dump some points into use magic device. And then... Some into balance. Some into haggle. We have seven points left, so I'm going to use some in Spellcraft because, oh yeah, if you mouse over these, you get tooltips for what they do. And I, well, I was going to do that one, but it doesn't help with negative energy, so... I guess heal it is. I only have three points left, so I'm probably gonna do that in concentration. Ooh, do that. One point five. Boo. Don't do repair unless you're planning on uh, building a war forged. Alright, I'll add that other point into Tumble instead. I don't actually know if Warp if, uh, Repair applies to Warforged to the Shrine or not, or if that works on Heal. To boost allied Warforged healing from rest resting. Does it say that in the pop-up? Mm -hmm. no. Okay. Also, I'm trying to build the dwarf that, dwarf that we're building right now. 
What stats did you min max? Just double checking. For what? The Necro Dwarf? Uh, int, int, and Constitution. Int and Con, not Strength? Right. Alright. Oopsies. We'll just spin those around. Because he's got Throw Your Weight Around in the Dwarf Tree, which gives you Con to damage. And. Alright, so I maxed Rogue Int at 18, to, to Con at 18, and Strength I ended, increased by 2 since I had 2 points left. Did what? I increased strength by two okay. because that's all I had left. Okay. Or do you think I should put it into dex? Dex is good too. You got eight, eight dex. Yeah. Dex ten is good. Uh, strength ten is good. Yeah. You can bring down the con and probably cr crank those up a lot. Bring the con, con down by two points and crank those up a lot. I can bring both up to ten. Yeah. I don't need whiz or charisma for this. So 10, so. 10, 18, 8. Uh, uh, 10, 10, 16. 18. Oh, you can't do 18-18? Nah, I only have a 28 point will. No, I mean, if you bring down the strength and the dexterity to 8. Oh, yeah, I can do 18-18-8-8, I, I 8-6, eight, 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 and then 2 points left over. 2 points left over. Uh, I don't know, dex or strength, pick one. We're doing a lot of melee attacks, so strength. Well, that would be for your carry weight, not for your damage. Once you get throw your weight around, it'll all be gone. Eh, gotta carry the armor, don't we? No, yeah. we're doing the other armor. You're a rogue, so you're going to be wearing light. I'll just be doing dex. Okay. Then I put four points into balance, disable device, haggle, hide, intimidate, or not intimidate. Uh, jump, no listen, move silently, open lock, search, spot, tumble, use magic device, and heal. <laughs> of course you get credit for it. Then the first thing we want to do, instead of uh, single weapon fighting, is combat expertise. Because we get, um, what is it? defensive fighting, but that only gives you a uh, plus 5 bonus to AC, and this one gives you a plus 10 with the same negative 5 to attack rolls for both. So next, here's the summary, and we'll just randomize. That's our character. Ooh. Short round? Sure. Is it taken? No. It's hilarious. So we got chat. You find yourself waking on a shore of flotsam. Memories of a large white dragon striking your ship ah, come you're flooding awake. back. Oi, you ain't undead, are you? Where's my sneak? Can you move? No enhancements, no spells. We got a few feats. They're already on a hard bar. Throw that one out because it doesn't stack. Ah, oh, you're awake! Oi, you ain't undead, are you? We don't have heal kits, so we don't need that.
Can you move? And then we have this. That can give you XP. Ah, oh, you're awake! Oi, you ain't undead, are you? And then we have these. Which I'm actually gonna turn off. Because... If what the halfling said was true, no one but you made it to the island alive. Come on. It may be worth following this rogue. For now. This way. What do you mean? We go to advanced graphics and this. The camp's up here. Yeah, I don't know where that I'm not is. In there in, in the game. Come on. Scroll the way down. This way. No, how about just grab? Shut up, cheats. Aspect ratio. Click back. The camp's up here. And then 16 by 9. Didn't change anything. Come on! At least not for me. Huh. Follow me. Come on, cheats. To the south. Alright, since we're a rogue, uh, the first thing we're going to take is probably the long sword. Uh, no, we have proficiency in long sword. Go ahead, give a few swings. As you take hold of the weapon, feeling its balance, you can't help but notice this Jeets has more he wants to say. Make sure it doesn't have an orange bar at the bottom. Legitimately, rapier is probably better. Because <coughs> you get the string and the dexterity to the string. Hmm. I forgot to tell him to continue. Salimus is at the grotto. Salimus is in the, the grotto. On. I shall show you the way. I run around and not pay attention. Conflict. Golden potions. That I will probably this is all uh, from dragon wrecked ships. The gold like will be yours. useful here in a bit. Tell me, was it exciting to see a dragon up close? How's chat, Mr. Moderator? Here we are. Go inside and speak with Salimus. I'll wait here for Jinx. These don't unlock for solos, so we're just gonna get hit. Hit continue. Is this Salimus, the cleric you were sent to you? find? You can click all of these. I'm just gonna click First, continue. First, I shall surround us with a protection spell. Her spell temporarily prevents you from dying, though you can still suffer injuries. This effect will wear off when you leave these caves. Now, let's be about it. A gate? There must be a way to open it. Try up that you ladder. hear the shuffling I'll and wheezing here, of some creature wagon, coming from the corridor out. ahead. There's this dude here. Nope, he spotted me. Uh... <laughs> you actually hit me. Good job. No time to dodge. 
corroded lever at the rear of this corridor most likely controls the gate where the cleric, Salimus, is waiting. Don't you worry, Salimus. I'm here to watch your behind now. Skills. See? It's in my head. We're just gonna open this for you. Charge! What? It's oh, empty? empty? They'll be here in a minute. They don't like fighting the dude, so they take their time. Look! The door closed behind us! It would be logical to assume... TRAP! There are more of them up there. Stay alert. Wretches, are you scared of me? Come down and fight. Kind of sad. Purge the wicked. Such is the fate of evil. Now, let's find a way out of here. Can't pick this. Anyone see a key? Curious. I just stepped on something. Good work! You I grabbed the silver there. key. Up for a swim. Time to swim for the surface. Does phobia mean anything to you? A moment to rest. But, um, ha! I still got plenty of stamina. I can go all night. Now you're talking. There's an optional quest to take rest a little the shrine, but I don't think it gives you any extra XP, so. Crikey! Hey. I think I ran off. I'm not doing it. Oh well. I've been protected from dying. Oh. I'm gonna wait for Jeeps to unlock a trap door without searching for it first. Ha! There is no match for yours truly. You can open the door now. You two having trap fun? Box, I guess. It's time for us to go. The High Priestess should be up ahead. The onus for much suffering rests squarely upon her slimy webbed hands. There she is. And so they begin performing some kind of <laughs> blood magic. I will open the door. You don't actually have to fight. Oh. Speeds things up, but you don't actually have to. There's a secret passage hey. around here somewhere. Well, we haven't gotten that far into the boat yet, so. You boys look for it. Possibly I must passage. cleanse the profane energies around the shrine. Let Salimus do her thing. You and I'll take care of the important stuff the treasure. My rogue senses are tingling. There's something fishy in this You room. feel a stiff draft from somewhere in this room. Perhaps the hidden passage to the village is in here. So you've been Found the secret passage? Go on, open it then. Brilliant. Tidy lashes and pints up the wazoo. Here I come. I swear to God, he says tiny, here. not tatty. The way out tidy. is up ahead. But first, I want to reward you for your assistance. Please oh, come tiny. speak with me. So we're going to take the Wand of Finger of Fire because eventually we're going to take some laser bubbles. Stepping out of the grotto. You find yourself in Korthos village. The Sahuagin have threatened this place for generations. 
Judging from how it looks now, the Sahuagin are winning. However, some hopeful souls still hold out for help to arrive. Because we have no spells. We're gonna grab a cleric down this way. Ooh it's even lower now. So we'll put him here. Alright. We're doing everything on normal. No hard, no lead. Just normal this time around. You can access hard or elite on your first life anyway. Yep. Coming from deep in the crypt. So, there's some options, they give you bless and other things. We're gonna just put the cleric on active, so it'll fight for me, and then we're gonna go run through here. Strange. Sarcophagi line the wall. You notice something strange about the wall to the west. You found some kind of secret door in the wall. Once you open it, you can reach whatever's behind it. Might actually do it quiet. <sighs> eh. How's that? I'm breaking things. There's an audio ducking option you can put that later. No idea what that means. <laughs> there's so there's a trap a right chest. here. It's out in the well, open and unprotected. Box. And the trap here is set to spray acid. I'll show you. Acid sprays out of the oh. wall as the gate We're stepping in the water that sprays acid. There must be some mechanism We're just gonna the trap. You've disconnected the trap firing that. mechanism. The gate's closed now because it's stepping in the water without disarming it, but that's now. fine. There's also another box on this side. You could get them both as a robe. You get extra stuff. Mostly XP. It's all XP. Take the chest. Pull the lever because I stepped into the water and activated the trap. Oh, hi, Arlene. A treasure chest glimmers in this passage. There may be something of use inside. So they're gonna fight for us. It's a pretty good Harley. In what here, there's cultists up to weapons. This heavy mace is a bludgeoning stuff, weapon. But they're Ideal they're for not, smashing up our skeleton. There's all starter weapons. Their bones so. are resistant to pop in the middle of this chamber. We're gonna tap to the table, tell you to attack that. Riot, and then hopefully help create destroy it. A magical crest hey. appears from the destroyed altar. Hey, we're gonna have one of you. It may be useful to have one soon. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. Fight. Fight. So she's gonna fight, and I'm gonna break these sarcophagus for hopefully some loot. That's where we need to go. There's another Sahuagin. It croaks. Cragwolf Hayton, in life you served the light. But in another crest drops out oh, as you we just barely the missed altar. it. There might still be oh well, other one more kill. elsewhere in this crypt. Hey, hey, hey. Hitting me with my foot. <clears throat> I never get that one alone. I'm in a party, it's fine. I'm not alone. She's gonna start running around killing things for me. As you slay these foul cultists, take care and to keep one your more own health up. Right a treasure there. chest glimmers in the dark passage here. Okay. Doing the optional There's gives you XP. Performing some kind of ritual. 
Come, dead son of Morthos. Rise, and when the altar collapses, a third crest appears. It glows Ooh. with cold She did it. We're fine. There. See? Perfectly fine. No health taken. Whatsoever. We're gonna get spotted, even if we're sneaking or anything, when we're over here. So I'm just gonna run in after my hireling. A magical barrier blocks the way, and behind it, another Sahuagin performs unhold. You fit the last crest in place, and the magic shield dissipates. The Sahuagin inside spits out in a venomous voice. These fools who would keep Hordos shall be consumed by the Devourer! Why are they all still following me? What the fuck? Boy. Stop it. I would worry more about the short stop before. Your bold action saved Corthos and brought the Sahuan yeah, to naught. Yeah. The treasure chest in the antechamber is now yours. Eh. I'm not even carrying a weapon. I don't care. You're a short, stocky dwarf with a bad attitude. You might fuck me up. Just some <laughs> girth. Yeah, we'll just put that. We're gonna keep that because we're gonna have to summon stuff eventually. Go ahead and sell all of that and collect our reward. Here's what we have. I usually go with inner focus, um, mostly because I don't use strength characters. Some of the brave villagers tried to stem the Sahuagan tide, but their courage led to naught. So 